And Irma could be having an impact on Alabama now. Not today or the weekend, but early to the middle part of next week. I'll break down the newest track here in just one second. But first, let's talk about what we're seeing outside right now. You have to prepare for today before we can leap ahead to next week, right? So, clear sky in Birmingham, a bit of a cool start. Maybe a light jacket kind of a morning, especially for those kiddos getting up and at them and maybe having to spend a little time outside waiting for the bus this morning. Calm wind and the sky will remain bright blue through the afternoon. Those temperatures steadily climbing through mid morning into the low to mid 60s by 9 a.m., low to mid 70s by 11 o'clock, and will land in the lower 80s later on this afternoon. Cold front that pushed through earlier this week that's reinforcing this drier air and winds out of the north, keeping the sky bright and rain free. But it's this cold front that's also going to play a big role in the steering of Irma. This is a look at our satellite imagery right now where we can see the clouds. Look at how uh, that storm is swirling. Now a category for storm. Let me switch over. This is called our infrared imagery, and that's just a fancy word for showing how much heat's in a storm, and heat means energy. So we've got a lot of energy right close to the eye of that storm, as you can see there. The bands of rain and uh, the wind really stretching across the islands there, really wreaking a bit of havoc. This morning, winds are at 150 miles per hour. It is a Category 4, but boy, it's still a strong Category 4, barreling towards the coast of Cuba. Remember that cold front I told you about? Well, well, it's going to be sliding south, and that is going to steer the upper levels of the atmosphere, and that's why Irma is expected to take that sharp turn to the north. And good confidence right now that it is going to impact the Keys and head right on into the tip of Florida. Here's where some of the changes begin. We'll have another trough behind that, or a weak cold front, if you will. But essentially, it's not going to be overly strong enough to help continue pushing the storm up the Georgia coast like we had originally forecasted yesterday. But remember, changes with these storms are very possible. So notice the timing here. Monday, 2 a.m., so it's going to be ver very early on Monday morning, moving just to the north of Tampa. Notice what happens next. This is where our forecast changes. Now it veers towards Atlanta. Now it takes a curve to the northwest towards the Tennessee Valley. That's right. The eye of the storm could be tracking through Georgia and then on into Alabama. But keep this in mind. See the entire area uh, bound by this white line here? We call that our forecast fan. The track of this storm could actually be anywhere between the these white lines. Keep that in mind. We'll continue adjusting the forecast as the situation obviously is developing. It should fade out by Wednesday. Big question, how will it impact the games? I think the biggest impact is traffic. Seeing lots of uh, images on Twitter and social media of people just in complete gridlock. 82 degrees, Fresno State versus Alabama and Tuscaloosa. No rain to worry about there. Even Auburn fans in South Carolina just be ready for some slow travels, but temperatures will be in the mid 70s and sunshine fills the sky there in Clemson. We stay dry through Monday. Irma could bring us some rain by the middle of next week.